Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today we get the K83 Course Air Keyboard 2 in 1. And we're going to take a look at it. It's been out in the market for quite a while, but we're going to take a look at it and see what you get when you purchase something like this and see if it's even worth getting something like this. Now, for those that are thinking that, why do you want to 2 in 1? Well, people are having more of their computers on their TVs now and they want it easy to access. And not only that, this works great on Amazon sticks and other accessories too. So we're going to take a look at it and, take a, and see what you guys get when you purchase something like this. Lighting's not that bad here. I'm actually doing indoors today because it's a little hot out there to do in the studio. So we're going to do indoors air conditioner and try to see if we can get this done. So first of all, what you get is, um, it, it, this is integrated with Q, of course. And if you're not familiar with the Q, it's the RGB lighting control slash control lighting, um, cameras, audio, everything's to one bundle. Now, of course, Air has pushed this a new software out in the market. Well, it's not new, it's been out for a while, but it just keeps getting better and better. But on top of that, it runs in the background. Some of the items pop up all the time. There's new functions, new keyboard, new updates. So I'm gonna take a look at it and see what you get. The first thing you get when you open it, you get the manual here and you get a bunch of stuff in here, how to keyboard shortcuts and stuff like that. So it's all built in here and this, we're gonna keep it in here as it is. But they give you a cable, a micro USB cable. And this is great to charge the system because there's no battery in here. You have to charge the actual module before you use it. So let's take a look at it and see what you get. Uh, if you notice in the bottom, there's a USB thongle key right there. This is to wireless transmit to your system. So it's built in here. If you guys can see it, you have to open it up and there it is. You know, you pop it up and you plug it into your laptop or your desktop and you're ready to go. Let's put that aside. Let's take a look at the keys. Now, the keyboard itself, if you can see it, um, there's a little mouse movement here that you can do that or you can use this regular key if you see it. It's, it, it's a touch screen right here uh, for mouse movement. It's easy to um, um, move your cursor around or you could choose to use this one, the top one. Now this one feels more like a, a, a PlayStation controller here if you can notice. And these two functions are similar. Now they give you buttons too on the left and right and this is the audio control here too. You, you can actually change the buttons on the Q system to uh, different settings of course. And of course le um, left button, right button for the mouse. These are the mouse uh, actions that you have in here. Of course, the double touch still works, double click. Um, you could add different functions in here, but this is a pretty good one. If, you, if you're not familiar to touch pads, you can always use this to control your cursor itself. Now, the, fun the full keyboard function, it doesn't give you a 10 keys, of course, but because this is taken by this, but it gives you a full function keys. And let's go ahead and turn it on. And the way you turn it on, there's a button here on the back and it lights up if you see it. This is where the actual charging station goes to. Now on this part right here in particular part, this is the left click. If you see it, it says left, a left mouse. So you could use this left mouse and then they give you a right mouse here on the bottom. So if you're playing a game, you go right click, right click on the bottom. If you see it, right click, left click. So you could be moving around and shooting around and this is great gaming mouse, uh, great for gaming and other stuff. So not bad. I mean, it's pretty good functions. I like how they put it in this corner. And um, if you see the right button here and the left button here, and of course it all uh, it all lights up. All right, there's um, there's lighting in there. Of course, you could turn that feature off if you want to. Uh, different functions. Now every it goes to sleep if you're not using it to conserve battery. Of course. And uh, as soon as you move your, your cursor or any touch functions, the whole light, the whole keyboard lights up, which is not bad. I like the whole function itself. I mean, uh, this is one plus thing, the audio. I like the audio control here, but it's too close to the actual mouse that you might be able to move it. But other than that too, you could program this to do some other functions in here. And there is a lock in here and a lighting here to turn off the light, if you can see it. The light functions in here. And there's a lot of functions on this. And the, the, and the size of the keyboard is really small. We're gonna bring another keyboard to compare the size of it so you guys can see it and uh, I do have another keyboard to compare it now you have the everything's kind of cramped in the keyboard you got an up page down page of course the the key buttons um, it, it does have all these gaming buttons like uh, different colors if you guys see it these are gray colors they're a black tone like the other one black flat these are gray 
and these are for functioning for the gaming and you could be playing and holding the keyboard at the same time um it, it could be a different functions for it i mean i like this keyboard a lot but getting used to it's another thing and it's really really small and really light too uh, battery wise it comes, i'm gonna put the description here and how much how many hours it's considered to last on a full charge um, if you're using constantly, of course, the lighting is going to affect the actual charging, the, the battery itself. So, uh, button to turn it off and on, it's e easy. Charging station is on this corner too. Um, there's not that much. There's no kickstand because it does have these rubber stamps here, right here in the corners that you can see them. These little rubber ends are to actually um, grab onto the table and it's not moving no more. So, I like that function. That's a pretty good function. They give you the cable all the stuff you need and let's go ahead and bring another keyboard and, and compare it to this one uh not double the size but it's a little larger because of the 10 this is a 10 keyboard 10 keys this is included this will probably be the half of the size of what this is right now and it pretty much mimics the same size if you can see it so it, this is a little larger of course because of 10 key functions keys but if you notice it's not that bad it's not that light i mean compare this is really light compared to this one and size wise it's actually smaller this is a lot smaller than this this machine and this one's a wireless and it's uh and it's been working very well and everything but this is a lot better for my handling i mean i could i could move the buttons up and down spreadsheets up and down with the spreadsheet button here the mouse the cursor um you can control the stuff in here uh if you're not used to the other functions these functions you can always use go back to the touchpad exactly like here it makes you feel like if you're using a laptop pretty much um so this is one we're going to compare with this dell keyboard two in one also two it's a usb and um uh, uh it's a usb chip um usb transmitter and also bluetooth so two in one this was a lot larger than both of them compare if you notice it's a little larger than that one but it's a lot thinner if you see it but it doesn't have the same functions as this one um not a touchpad there's no mouse on this one there's a separate mouse compared to this one um two functions in one is pretty good for especially if you can have an entertainment system on your tv this is a great feature to have but it's something to get used to it when you're playing youtube or something else you can always control it from here um, different functions you could program you could turn off and, uh, and the function key also is included here where you could turn off certain features the wireless the bluetooth and other features too so there is two bluetooth accessories here that you could attach to besides the usb you can control two usb two you you bluetooth right here bluetooth one and bluetooth two so you have to enable them before you function um, you start the procedure and in order to start procedure you have to actually hold down the button and it, it starts this whole system itself but you could control both Bluetooth from here on this function. If you have Bluetooth, you can always go back to the USB, of course. Um, that's a great feature to have. So right now, what we're gonna do to, to actually program a Bluetooth, you have to hold down the button. And if you see, it starts blinking, looking for a Bluetooth there. Uh, function F1, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. It starts looking for Bluetooth right there. You see it, it's red. It's right now, it's not, it's looking for it. On your computer, you have to go into your settings and Bluetooth and find it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so check it out, the function. I'm gonna put the cursor here, right? So I'm gonna move the cursor in here. If you guys can see it, it's moving with this. Now, I, I can't use this for the cursor right now. You gotta actually hit the key button here for unlocking it, and you're able to move it like a regular cursor, all right? Uh, left and right button. This is right, left. They're both functioning very well. You could use either one. So as long as you have that little key button, if you see it in here, this is what controls it. So great function. And right now it's in Bluetooth. And let me bring something up in, in the current screen. We'll do that. And you can always click here and it does the same functions as a keyboard, uh, as a touch screen. So you have that function, sorry. Um, zoom in, zoom out, you can do that. You can program it. Uh, let's go ahead and set this up. Go to go to audio control. Let's go ahead and control the audio. So we're gonna click on this one, audio, and you can always also control it here. See it? Just simple as that. Audio control is moving. It's moving there. Very simple to control the audio. Functions work very well. Right now I'm on Bluetooth number one. You could program something in Bluetooth number two, which is F7. And then it tells me and it's charging right now. So I'm going to charge this sucker right now because it's a little red. I can always turn off the light to say conserve any power. So I can do that and it still works the same functions as the other one. And I could turn this off and I could, if you see it, it's on, it's on right now. Functions on, off, 
can't move it. And if you if you have this off, you could control either way. The if you're on a spreadsheet or 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 a, a screen that's very tall, and very and it has a lot of height, you could scroll up and down with this. Of course, see, see if your screen moves up and down. So you can do that. Control the screen with this. Um, if you can see it, if you have a spreadsheet, you go go up and down with this one. It's kind of like a side cursor. That's what it is. Very easy to access. Very easy to control. So far, this keyboard is, is pretty awesome too. I, I like the keyboard itself. It has a lot of great functions. If you guys can see, like I was telling you, on better lighting, you can see the function of the keyboard, which I like this part. It, it's for gamers, if you guys understand. A lot of these games use these three key, these four keys right here, of course. And it, it's so small that you can handle this one with two hands and, and still uh, manually move around in the game. It's like having a big old joystick. It's, it's a longer joystick. You have this function, which is a great function it reminds me of a playstation controller if you can see it on the controller you have the same actual movement here um if you touch this keyboard it feels exactly the same but it has a rougher end and a little rubber end here so you could get a better grip on it you could click down on it you could turn it off the function uh, and like i said the keyboard has the big old button here in the back and in the front if you see it it tells you right here this is an r button our button right here and the left button here. You can have three functions, three hardwares connected to this keyboard. One by USB, the Thongo USB, the little USB that we have, and then two by Bluetooth. The full function keyboard, I turn off the light so I can conserve some power, of course, but you can do different things. Other than that, this is a great keyboard to have in hand. Now the price is a little expensive, but if you're gonna have this in a conference room, um, this is a great function way to control your TV and your functions and also your Zoom meetings, your, your, your planning, your Teams meetings and your video conferencing. This is a great feature to have. Now, if you're gonna use it for something else, for gaming and other stuff, it's another plus too. It, um, it, it, but if you're gonna use it for gaming, it's best to have a mouse and keyboard separate because people like to tend to uh, uh, physically change the speeds of the keyboards and mouse and other functions too so but this is a great option if you're going to be traveling on the road or in a hotel room and you don't have your mouse and your keyboard you can always carry this one and it's very very small compared to others um size wise you don't need any batteries too you charge it through usb micro usb and it's ready to go if you have any questions or any comments i'm your host frank the tank and we are out